Hey guys, look, Xanthicor here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the vehicle editor. Um, I'm not exactly sure if I'm doing this right, but I edited the vehicle, so I used the vehicle editor. Uh, it's a pretty simple program, I think. I don't know. Just opened up by going to view, open view panel, and then going to vehicle editor. I know you can't see mine. Don't, don't complain about it. Okay, and then uh, you might want to select your vehicle first. So just spawn a vehicle, and then um, then open up your vehicle editor and, and uh, click open selected. And right here is your vehicle. Um, yeah, you, you can't really do too much with this besides what you, whatever you see over here. I, I I suppose that you could uh, change the doors if you found out what other doors were called. You 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 could uh, switch all this around. If you had other names for this in classes and components and helpers, um, wheels, change the axle, the density, friction. That's all I know how to do. You can change the wheels. Um, yes, pretty much anything like that. I'm not going to go into that because I've already screwed up one car and uh, don't really need to screw up another. You can uh, delete things like the spare wheel on the back. If I just press delete, it's gone. And you save it. It should technically be gone, but it's not. All that thing. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I've pr pretty much just like uh, screw up this car completely. And I will show you what I did. Okay. Open selected. Over in modifications, where you'll. Oopsie, no, it's not. It's in movement where, where you'll probably spend the most of your time is all the engine steering and speed and stuff like that um, it does help if you know a little bit about cars I know nothing about cars so that's why I completely screwed mine up don't don't look anything here because this is just a mess it's a complete and total wreck and I don't want to talk about it um, you pretty much want to leave everything at normal and don't change it too much don't, don't go like all oh, crazy and everything like my steering I put it on a point I did a uh, 95 degree angle for the steering right here this should be about half of that a 45 degree angle I know that's not half but it should be about a 45 degree angle for the steering the max speed um, Defaults 23. I don't know why they picked 23, so I just upped it to 50. Um, engine power. I don't know. I took that up to 900. Um, min R. The um, minimum the RPM can be to like 100. The maximum RPM about 9,000. I don't know. I I just entered random numbers. And I kept trying, and I pretty much screwed up this car, and I forgot to save the file of the car before I messed with it. So I am out one Asian LTV, but eh, it's kind of cool. Um, engine idle. That, that, that has to be lower, because if your idle RPM is 5,000, that's too high. It has to be like 500. I, I think that would make sense. I don't know. I'm not a mechanic. Um, this is where, uh, if you know anything about cars, it really comes in handy. Anything like that, really. Part particles. This is where more fun comes in. Um, it's right here. You can change the exhaust. Stuff like that. Yep, so it's all pretty much right there. It's all self-explanatory once you start reading it all. Um, I'm still kind of playing around with it because I don't know very much about it. I know a little bit. I, I know how to edit the car, which is pretty much what you do with a vehicle editor. Uh, so you can see my, my, my car does go a little bit faster. And uh, for it to go straight now, I have to um, hit shift to uh, have a little boost. And uh, it goes pretty fast, I'll say. Yeah. 
So uh, that's the vehicle editor. There's not really too much to it. It's really not that great. Um, if you see that I'm doing something wrong, you know what I'm doing wrong. Please let me know because I don't see anything that great about it. That was so amazing to know about. Um, for the other one, the facial editor. Where is that? Um, I don't know anything about the facial editor. I, I know how to edit their faces, but you have this animation thing down here that I don't know how to do. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this. I figure you guys have been asking about the vehicle editor and the facial editor. And I uh, don't really know that much about it. Sorry. Um, I can make things. I... I pretty much showed you how to use the vehicle editor editor to all that you should be able to need it for. Um, it's not great but it's all I got. Um, the facial editor is pretty much the same way. It's self-explanatory but I'm sure you can go into much more detail with it that I did not go into or even know how to go into because there really are no other guides or explanations on how to do any of it because I, I looked for some today and I couldn't find anything uh, so that's pretty much it this is Ignite Corey signing out